Hello, welcome. Try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that there's some graph right here, and we want to find which equation matches the graph. The first thing I want to point out to myself is that we have a midline right here. Let me just choose blue. Uh, we have a midline of our function right here on the x-axis. That's just the middle, essentially, of the graph. Halfway between the highest points, the peaks up here, the peaks and the valleys. And the distance between the midline and that peak, the distance between the midline and that valley right there, that distance is the amplitude. And the way we write these functions is to put the amplitude usually as a coefficient of it. So the amplitude cosine here is 1. It's our parent function, but here the amplitude is a half. So it can't be choice 4. That would mean the amplitude is 2. Uh, and again, the amplitude is just the distance from the midline to the peak or the midline to the valley, not from the peak to valley. That would be a distance of 1, which is incorrect. The next thing I notice is that this cosine wave, right, goes down and then reaches another peak. So you go, you travel basically the distance from peak to peak. It takes pi radians, right, to complete one cycle <coughs> of the wave. Okay, so what does that mean? That means it's going to mess with this number in our function, right? Uh, sorry, uh, the the half or the one right here. So ordinarily, the period, so this, so for our parent function, y equals, let's say, the cosine of x. The amplitude is 1, and then the coefficient, I should put a little k in here. The coefficient, k, of x helps us find the period and frequency. So k could be, um, k, excuse me, is 2 pi divided by the period for sine and cosine, and pi over the period for tangent. But over here, if k is 1, for example, 1 equals 2 pi over the period. I'll put p for period. We solve for p, multiply both sides by p, and p equals what? 2 pi. The normal period for a cosine function is 2 pi radians. And that's what this one is saying right here. So it must be choice 1, but let's confirm that. If k is 2, and 2 equals 2 pi over the period, multiply both sides by p, and divide by 2 on both sides, and we get pi. The period is pi, and that's this number here is usually referred to as the frequency, but really this, this is a number that ties together period and frequency, because frequency is always the reciprocal of the period. So if the period is pi, the frequency is 1 over pi. In other words, it takes uh, this wave completes one cycle every pi radians. All right, I hope this helped.